Have you ever wondered how you can become super fast at producing music in Logic Pro? In this video, I'll be showing you 50 of the best Logic Pro hacks that will help you with things like automation, optimizing project settings, production shortcuts, productivity tools, and overall how this can get you great sounding music. These are the top 50 hacks in Logic Pro and every hack in this video is precisely curated from all my other tips videos. So by watching the entire video, you'll be saving hours of time from having to consume any other tips videos. One, choose the default startup action so you can become more productive when you first open Logic. By default, it opens up your most recent project, but I have it always start a new project template. Two, change the default software instrument to something you use most often. For example, my default software instrument is a Juno 6 VST. To do so, add your software instrument of choice and then define as default. Three, remove the default bus send that Logic creates. To do so, add a track and make sure to click off load default patch. Four, increase or decrease the size of your session window so you can zoom in and out easier within Logic. To do so, click and drag the top right arrow. Five, create project templates with all the instruments, plugins, and other things you use most often in a session. I like to have markers, plugins, and instruments loaded up in my template. To create a template, start an empty Logic session, add your desired things, and then save as a template. Six, create project alternatives instead of creating duplicates of your Logic profiles. I like to use alternatives if I'm going to make a big change in the production, but I don't want to lose anything that I've created so far. To do this, go to File, Project Alternatives, Add New Alternative. Seven, use the auto backups that are generated for you behind the scenes. This can be a lifesaver if you've forgotten to save something or you just want to revert to an older version. Find them in File, Revert To. Eight, customize your control bar and display. I like to see the CPU meter, but you can also add anything you'd like. I find low latency mode and software monitoring mode buttons very helpful too. Nine, organize your plugins into their separate categories and place them at the top of your plugin library. To do so, open up the plugin manager, create folders, add your desired plugins, and drag the folders to the top. 10. Copy channel strips quickly. The shortcut to do this is Option Command C to copy, and then Option Command V to paste. 11. Did you like how you created a sound in a past project? Or maybe you want a similar plugin chain from an older project. Import old Logic Pro files by using the File Importer. Click File Browser under All Files and press the paper icon. Click your desired project and then the specifics of what you would like to import. 12. Logic automatically adds an appended number to your bounced stems. You can remove this in the Stem Bounce dialog box. Add a custom label, but do not type in a custom name. Instead, Logic will take your track name. 13. Zoom quickly on any region by pressing Z. You can use the slides in the top right. You can hold Command and scroll up and down. You can also press Option to use the Zoom tool and create squares around regions to zoom. 14. Press Enter, and this will snap the playhead to position 1. 15. Press semicolon, and this will snap a selected region or group of regions to the beginning of the playhead. 16. Press Command R to duplicate regions quickly or groups of regions. 17. Highlight two or more regions and press J to join these regions. 18. Quickly copy and paste. Click a region, hold Option, click and drag those regions to create a copy and move it to your desired position. Let go. 19. Press and hold shift Control to create a fade out, fade in, or cross fade on a region or group of regions. 20. Add a third click tool for more quick access to tools. In settings, go to general, editing, right mouse button is assignable to a tool. 21. Use the marquee tool to quickly copy and paste regions or sections of your song. This will make sure you are copying and pasting your regions in time based on your grid. 22. Use the marquee tool within automation to create multiple automation dots, which will allow you to automate specific parts very quickly. 23. Drag in a reference song and use the BPM tool to find out what the BPM of the song is. 24. Use the free analog EQs, which are modeled after very popular hardware EQs. 25. Use touch or latch to quickly automate something on the inspector window. Click touch or latch, play the track, automate your desired effect, and then make further edits if you need to. 26. Save patches to popular instruments that you use often. I have a bass patch saved that I can recall very quickly. 27. Freeze or power down tracks that you are not actively using. Go to track header components and add these elements. If you want to remove them from view, you can press H and then hide the tracks as well. 28. Bounce your software tracks down to audio in order to save CPU. 
Only do this though if you are committed to the sound because you will not be able to open up the software instrument once it is bounced down to audio. 29. Hold Option and click on a bus send to send the entire signal. This is way easier than trying to slowly click and drag to 0, 0.0. 30. Hold Option and click on the volume fader to reset the value to 0. You can also do this within plugins too. 31. Stretch samples quickly by clicking and holding Option on the end of a region. I do this a lot to stretch samples that I drag in from Splice. 32. Transpose samples quickly by clicking on a region and then pressing Option with the up or down arrow keys. 33. Click the link button within a plugin to link tracks and plugins together. This is very helpful if you want to edit plugins on multiple tracks. For example, notice I have an EQ plugin on each of these three tracks. Once I click link, I don't have to open or close down plugins anymore. I only need to click on the tracks and the respective EQ plugins will load. 34. Use the Snap to Grid feature or set it to Smart. This will make sure everything you move around in Logic will be put on the grid. It's still up to you though to make sure everything sounds good and is in time. 35. Use the Drag Crossfade feature when dragging regions into each other to automatically create a crossfade between them. 36. Use the Vocal Comp Take Folder feature in Logic. Cycle through takes and create different comps so that you can A-B test against them. 37. Use the Drummer Producer Kits to give you more flexibility to mix your drums. 38. Try using the Drummer Tracks Follow option in the Drummer Editor to follow a specific instrument you have in your session. 39. Trigger your drum stems with your own samples by pressing Ctrl D. This will pop open a drum replacement box that you can double or replace the drums. Choose from different logic sounds or drag in your own samples too. 40. Drag any samples you have on your computer or sample your own voice using the recorder. These sounds will be immediately ready to trigger if you have your own MIDI keyboard plugged in. 41. Try using the MIDI effects ARP on an instrument to give it more groove. This can sound great on bass. 42. Tune your vocals with flex pitch. This can be great if you only need to tune specific words or sections of a song. 43. Use flex time to quantize audio very quickly. You can do this within the editor or the region editor too. Flex time works really well for transient instruments like drums. 44. Nudge your audio by holding Option and then clicking left or right arrow keys. You can set your nudge value to whatever you would like. 45. Reverse any audio by clicking on the region and going to the inspector and click reverse. Try reversing crash hits to create a dramatic sweep. 46. Use stereo panning on your pan pots with stereo instruments. Right click on the pan button and choose stereo pan. 47. Make sure to have a stereo track if you're using stereo instruments. You can see on the track if you're in mono or stereo. 48. Use the velocity tool in the MIDI editor or open it up within automation to get a glance at your MIDI velocity. Velocity will have a big impact on how human an instrument will feel. 49. Quantize your MIDI notes by highlighting them and then pressing Q on your keyboard. You can set your quantize value and strength too. If you mess up, you can always turn off quantization or adjust notes manually too. 50. Click the MIDI out preview to hear what MIDI notes you are selecting. Click the MIDI in button to quickly add notes that you press on your MIDI keyboard. 51. If you want to expand your knowledge even more, you'll want to watch these two videos here, which include for 200 Logic Pro tips.